why many fans don't watch The Bold and the Beautiful anymore. Consistently, The Bold and the Beautiful has been number two of the four daytime soap worlds. But fans say that it's degrading to number four. Because of all these crazy repeated plot lines and enraging storylines. If you are a Bold and the Beautiful fan, I'm sure you would have a lot to say about this particular BNB derail. So let us know down in the comment section down below. Anyway, let's get to see what fans hate the most from the soap. Liam Spencer Liam should be the main lead in The Bold and the Beautiful. Instead, he acts like a mature child. The man jumps to conclusions easily, wants everything his way, and if he has even the smallest argument with his wife, he heads towards Steffi Forrester to sleep with her. On top of that, he is always irritated by the kids. Even Scott Clifton, who portrays Liam, said, For the record, of course, I want to choke Liam as much as y'all do. He's become a terrible person, but my job is to find a way to motivate and humanize Liam's choices. I can't change the story our writers want to tell. I can only try my best to make it evocate and real. Elongated Storylines I know this is not just me. Many of you out there wishes that we didn't have to see one storyline for a whole year, only to see the same thing repeat after it finishes. For example, at the beginning of 2021, BNB gave us Cheating Liam and Steffi, a paternity drama that lasted half a year, and then Taylor Hayes' and Deakin Sharp's return. That was too boring to keep on watching. Now for 2022. Paris Buckingham will have the situation Steffi Forrester has in the first half of 2021. After the baby drama, Rich Forrester might sleep with Taylor, but Brooke has already slept with Deacon, so another Queen Fuller storyline might be repeating but with Bridge. The worst of 2021. Never ending returns were one of the worst things that happened in 2021 in The Bold and the Beautiful. However, what was even worse than that is how the returnees who were supposed to light fire sat like they were a wet and scared cat. And then Sheila Carter finally took a stance, tried to play the evil card like she was before, only to tamper with Brooke's alcohol. Her revenge is getting as dumb as BNB writers write the show. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to check some of our other videos. And we hope to see you again in the next video.